Hey folks, this is Shock, and I want to read you this story. You see this guy right here? Um, this is an atheist, and basically he was harassing this Christian woman that lived next to him. And um, let me read this to you. It says, uh, let me, and if you want to see the full article, click below and it'll take you to my Twitter page and you could read it there. But it says, <clears throat> an atheist subjected a devout Christian woman to a relentless campaign of harassment in which he smeared dog feces on her car and urinated on her doorstep. Now, I'm just going to jump to the chase and tell you what started the whole thing. It says, The ordeal began in September uh, after Mrs. Watson had placed a religious fish sticker in her car. At that point, she would regularly find that another sticker had been put on top of it with words such as myth, deceive, sucker, and fiction, which she said were derogatory to her religious views. So the atheist starts harassing this woman just because she loves Jesus Christ. It says Mrs. Watson of Woodbridge, this is in the UK, I believe, decided not to do anything about it. So she doesn't do anything, you know, she just turns the other cheek and she says, and hope the problem will go away. But in August this year, Brown stepped up his campaign on several occasions Mrs. Watson came home to find that Brown had either smeared dog excrement on her car, allowed his dog to excrete on her lawn, or had himself had himself urinated on her property. So the guy's even urinating on her property. In a statement read out in court, so because I want to, what happened is they put up hidden cameras and they found the atheist doing these very uh, evil things, and they arrested him. It says in a statement read out in court. Uh, Mrs. Watson said she had been forced to lock her doors while, the, while in the house and found the experience upsetting. She said, I feel I'm being victimized for my religious beliefs. I'm concerned because my children have to get in and out of the car. I also find it embarrassing that when people come to visit, there's a strong smell of urine. This harassment is relentless. So this atheist guy is harassing this sweet, lovable, cuddly uh, Christian gal in the UK. Now here's what, how the police arrested the atheist and they went, opened up the door, put cuffs on him and put him in the back of the cop car and they slapped the cuffs on this atheist and they arrested him. Here's how they got him. During the latest spate of attacks, police installed secret CCTV at Mrs. Watson's home which caught Brown visiting the property a number of times. Naomi Turner, she's the prosecuting attorney, said Brown was arrested on Wednesday and admitted it. He admitted to police that he was, look, an atheist and wanted Mrs. Watson to reconsider her religious beliefs. I don't know why the guy thought that she would choose atheism. Uh, why would she choose atheism if that's how atheism treats people? Uh, it doesn't make any sense. Um... He was granted bail, and he has to go to court and everything, and, and they're going to rule on his case. But um, it says right here that that he became frustrated that he didn't get a reaction from the woman. So the woman's being real nice and turning the other cheek, so he even gets more weird. Anyways, I thought you guys might check this out. Click right below this video to read the whole article. It'll take you to my Twitter page, and don't forget to sign up on my Twitter page so you can follow me around, know what I'm doing and stuff. So here you have it. Atheist gets arrested for harassing a Christian. God bless you guys. Let's let's take a look at the guy. There he is. He probably doesn't believe in objective values.